It seeks to create awareness regarding the significance of air quality. Let's see in this session that what is the purpose to observe International Day of Clean Air for Blue Skies. On November 26, 2019, the Second Committee of the 74th Session of the United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution designating 7 September as the International Day of Clean Air for Blue Skies. The air pollution is the largest contributor to the burden of diseases from the environment and is one of the main avoidable causes of death and diseases globally. Yes, it is avoidable because we can take measures to avoid these diseases. You will be surprised to know that 99% of the world population is now breathing polluted air, as warning by WHO. 7 million people die each year due to air pollution, with 90% of them in low and middle income countries. So, what is the main reason? behind these death and diseases. The possibility of exposure to air pollution exists everywhere you live, depending on your location, time of day and weather. Exposure to air pollution is higher near busy highways or industrial belts. The third International Day of Clean Air for Blue Skies has held on 7 September 2022 under the theme of The Air We Share. It focuses on the transboundary nature of air pollution highlighting the need for collective accountability and collective action. In the year 2021, the day was observed under the theme, The Air We Share. It focuses on the transboundary nature of the air pollution, highlighting the need for collective accountability and collective action. The day was first observed on 7 September 2020 across the world. In the year 2022, this day an event focuses on prioritizing the need for healthy air for all. It also lays stress on critical issues like climate change, human health, planetary health and sustainable development goals. There is a new important term which we should know that, that what are short-lived climate pollutants? See, short-lived climate pollutants are greenhouse pollutants with a high global warming potential in them and this includes hydrofluorocarbons, black carbon, methane, tropospheric ozone and nitrous oxides. They are an important group of pollutants whose reduction can provide significant climate benefits in the short term and co-benefits like improved air quality. Short-lived climate pollutants are important contributors to anthropogenic climate change and they are responsible for as much as one-third of the current total greenhouse. They are also responsible for a significant portion of air pollution-related deaths as well as impacts on crops and hence food security. That's all in today's session. See you soon.